Now, Donald, <clears throat> I'm a gem collector, suggested that I do the old smoke test on this thing just to power it up and see if uh, this thing blows up, uh, goes up in smoke or what happens to it. And I thought about it and I thought, well, that's not a bad idea. I haven't really had the chassis up on its side yet, which I'm going to do. Uh, eventually, I'm going to prop this thing up with try to keep the CRT in place so I can see what's been done. But I am going to power this thing up on my Variac just to see if this thing actually blows up or burns up or what happens. I do know that the man that gave it to me said that they had power on it and it didn't do anything. So we'll see. <laughs> we will see. Anyways, here's something of interest to note. Here's the vertical linearity pot. And if you notice that plastic shaft, obviously that's a replacement. So I'm kind of wondering when that got replaced. And apparently whoever replaced it must have had a, a, a raster on the screen at one time. Because uh, why would they replace the vertical linearity pot? You know, after, after all this cobbling work here, if this set didn't fire up at all, well, they wouldn't have any need. So either this got replaced first before the power transformer got replaced, or this was replaced during the time that the power transformer was put on. So could it be that there was actually at one time raster and picture on this set? I don't know. <clears throat> the other thing is, is this set powers up from the radio. The, the, the short... Uh, a cord that came out of that uh, connection right here, this uh, uh, plug. It's not not a cheater type connection, but it's a um, a larger uh, connection, very much like my Zenith has on the back. And this goes over into the radio. And so apparently the power switch for the TV is in the radio part of the uh, of the set. So I've just tacked on a, a line cord. Uh, to use here. This is audio out. It's line out actually. It's not uh, a, a speaker out. So I have a little homebrew uh, audio amplifier to test that out with. Of course uh, the TV will be isolated from uh, from uh, ground so there should be no problem there. <clears throat> the other thing is is in the schematic the center tap of the high voltage winding on the transformer is not ground. It's not chassis ground. It's uh, floating above ground and connected into the circuitry, but not connected to the chassis. So that's something of interest. I'm just wondering how the tech dealt with that. Presumably, um, he connected, if there, there's got to be a center tap on this power supply, so uh, transformer so presumably it's connected into the right place he has a couple of diodes in there replacing the 5U4s so anyways I'm going to get this thing ready to power up and we'll see if it blows up and uh, what uh, jumps up and down or has smoke coming out of it I'm sure that Donald I'm a junk collector is excited to see that so let's see what it does when I get this thing ready All right, so here's what I have. I've got my uh, pattern generator, my leader pattern, pattern generator. Let's put some light on. There we can see it better. <laughs> Turned on, and it's in the antenna input of the set. I have audio, line audio out going into my little test amp here, and that's turned on. And I have uh, channel 3 pushed, so how optimistic can this all be <laughs> to actually think that now we're going to get something? Uh, I'm expecting that uh, it's something's going to burn up. Uh, maybe yes, maybe no, but we'll see. I'll start bringing it up. I'm going to be monitoring amps, so let's just see what this thing does. 
see if we get an explosion. The amps are staying low. Low, low current draw. That's an indication, uh, low current draw is an indication that maybe, oh, we're going up. I see tubes lighting up. Let me see what we got for volts. We're not quite at 120. There we are at 120. And we're not, we're drawing about an amp and a half. Tubes are lit. I think I'm hearing... Yeah, audio is working on this set. That is absolutely amazing. I don't see anything lit on the filament of the CRT. That uh, base on the CRT is problematic. But we're actually getting uh, uh, audio signal through uh, tuned on channel 3. Let's... Well... This is coming through on everything. <laughs> well, oh, look at that. No vertical deflection. There, this thing is actually somewhat functioning. But no vertical uh, d deflection at all. So we actually have high voltage. <laughs> you know, that's absolutely amazing. So maybe what I can do with this set is just work with what's been done to it so far. In other words, maybe I don't need to find a, a power transformer for it. Um, obviously, the horizontal damper is working. We've got uh, a horizontal deflection and high voltage, so that little, I'm assuming that little 6.3 volt transformer was uh, probably the, the filament feed for the 5V4 uh, damper tube. So I don't know. Uh, how cool is this? Well, uh, Donald, I'm a junk collector. It didn't blow up yet. Um, I'm absolutely amazed it didn't. I don't know if it's tuning anything. Um, I'm hearing the audio uh, come from my uh, leader uh, uh, pattern generator. I don't know what there's brightness. No, that CRT has got life to it. Contrast. Yeah, there's life here. So let's we'll have to find out why the um, there's no vertical deflection. But uh, and we're drawing uh, about one and uh, a third amp, maybe one of the third amp on my scale and that's at uh, 120 volts turn that down a little bit it's a little high yeah how do you like that well Donald it didn't blow up yet <laughs> oh my my so the good news is on this set is I can probably live with that picture tube the way it is. Uh, I can uh, uh, maybe fix up the base on it so the base don't feel so loose. And uh, it's an original tube that says Silvertone on the base. And then I can upend the chassis and see what's actually going on with it and why I'm not getting, uh, let's see what's been done, what needs to be done. And I'll go from there. So that'll be it for now. So here I've got this silver tone up ended. And I can see that most of the work that was done here 
aside from the replacement of the power transformer this is apparently the uh, the 6.3 volt filament winding I would think it'll be interesting uh, to see it will be interesting to see what the actual voltage is uh, especially the B plus voltage that's resulting after these diodes because uh, on the schematic I think the highest voltage I'm seeing is 280 volts on the B plus uh, none of these canisters have been replaced I'll have to check though uh, here's one uh, here's a power resistor soldered in down in there soldered across the two of them that's uh, that's not good that, that I'm going to change that uh, all the electrolytics or, or a lot of electrolytics have been put in I can't tell if he's got this wired in parallel with the existing electrolytics I'm probably getting too close with my camera um, and this camera, by the way, eats batteries like nobody's business. Terrible camera, the Sony CyberShot camera. A battery eater. They must have, uh, when they built this camera, they must have been in collusion with the battery companies uh, say, well, we'll sell a lot of batteries because the rechargeable batteries in this thing don't last at all. Anyways, aside from that, none of the uh, tubular wax capacitors have been replaced so he didn't do a shotgun repair I just wonder uh, how far he got and of course I wonder why there's no vertical deflection these are all the things I need to sort out